Welcome back, everybody. It is the Jeff Fox Show once again. And, of course, it's time to put some spice in your life. We've got Laverne Spicer in the house. And, of course, she's running Congressional District Number 24. Welcome to our show. Thank you, Jeff, for having me here tonight. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about uh, running for Congress this year. And I'm looking forward to November the 3rd victory. That's right. Love the confidence. I love the fact that you were basically working 20 years in this, you know, in this system, and then you decided, you know what, I've got to take things into my own hands. Yes. Tell me about that decision. Yes. Uh, 20 years ago, I founded a nonprofit, and the name of my organization is Curly's House Hope Relief Food Bank. And our mission is to provide food to those that really need it, um, to low to moderate income families throughout Miami-Dade County. Uh, when I first started, we were providing food for over 5,000 families, and now we are like providing food because of the COVID-19 to over 20,000 families each and every month. Wow. And you decided also, I mean, you know, that certain things you didn't find satisfactory, let's be honest. You decided, you know what, I've got to change this myself. What went into that decision? Yeah, um, when I first started, like I said, 20 plus years ago mm -hmm. in Liberty City when I first came mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. now 30 years later, Liberty City still looks the same. Yeah. All of the black community still look the same. We see absolutely no changes. In Liberty City, we still don't have a decent restaurant that a family can go there, sit down, and eat. Wow. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. Yeah. And I, that's why I'm running for office. Yeah. And, and of course, you know, November 3rd is right around the corner. It's, it's you know, it's approaching rapidly. Um, when you think about the people that this changed us, basically, we've been complacent, haven't we? Yes. And, and, and no reason for it. Yes, we have. Um, that's one of the things that I've noticed um, over these last years with um, my community and uh, I've been providing food to the seniors. I've been keeping them engaged in our community, especially politics-wise, mm. with being involved with going down to the city and county and talking about um, things that we believe in and the changes that we want to see take place to in our community. Right. But also, so many of them have become complacent and tired of fighting, you know, and giving up hope and finding that the whole situation looks dim and, and hopeless. Right. So that's one of the things that I've been doing is empowering the community, teaching the people how to have, continue to have faith and continue to have hope and put God first because with God all things are possible. And as people, we can't just continue to give up you know, mm -hmm. our fight. We got to continue to fight for what we believe in. One of the things that I believe in is America. You know, we we have we are in one of the most beautiful countries and one of the greatest countries in the world. That's We're right. living the American dream. Everybody wants to come here. Mm -hmm. You know, so we need to continue fighting for our communities and not just allow them to put us out of our communities. Right. When you, once you get elected, let's be positively on that, shall we? Once you become, you know, you get there to Congress, what what would be some of the things that you yourself would fight for change in? One of, of the things? things I would fight for uh, change is definitely economic development. Um, when you, a lot of people are having problems with affordable um, housing because mm -hmm. it's not affordable. Right. You know, it's not affordable. People cannot afford to pay their rent. That's why you have so many people that are facing evictions in our community. So I want to be able to make changes with that to help people become self-sufficient because when people become self-sufficient, they'll be able to take care of their kids, put food on the table, clothing on the back, you know, and not be so 
dependent upon that welfare system that was put in place years ago that basically destroyed us as black people and it also put the black father the black man out of the home yes so now this is the year of returning you know this is the time to bring the families back together black men need to come back and be a part of their kids life that's so important so when you become self-sufficient you have a job you have means of being able to take care of your kids then you could be the head of that household and show and your sons are watching you they're watching you so you're also teaching your kids how to work and take care of themselves so that's one of the things I want to do is bring economic development to our community by bringing jobs that can pay above the medium um, income so people be able to become self-sufficient. I love that. I love that. I mean, it, that's a message that has to get through. And, you know, my producer and I, Fish, we talk about this, this type of thing all the time. Uh, I mean, and it's striking to me that you bring it up that the black father is so important to our families. You know, and we just take it for granted, you know, when we run into situations where he's not there. You know, I mean, I got to give you credit for focusing on that and delivering your message. Yes, I, you know, um, I also have a beauty shop located in Rossu's Shopping Plaza, and um, I have a barber that works in my shop. So mm. I listen to the conversations while they're getting their hair cut. But when you don't have the economics, money is power. Yes. When you don't have the economics to take care of your kids mm. the way that you would like to be able to take care of them, you know, that could be so disheartening. So I want to bring back hope where there is none. Because mm. when we have stagnated leadership that is more concerned about themselves and what color outfits they're going to wear and what color hat mm -hmm. they're going to wear more so than about my community, you know, and how my community needs to change. That's who I am. I have been serving people for 20 years out of my pocket, for almost over five out of my pocket alone, struggling to feed people. You know, sometimes people don't know your story. When they see an organization, they assume, oh, the white man is just giving them that and the white man is doing No, it was no white man. It was this black woman right here. Preach. This black face you see right here. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that started that organization because I saw people in my community eating out of the trash can when the when Dixie was there over 20 years ago. And I said, hey, we got to change this. We got to do something. Absolutely. So that's when we started helping people by feeding them, by giving them clothing, helping them with jobs. It didn't matter if they was homeless on the streets. It didn't matter if they was a veteran that had nowhere to go. When people come, we have that reputation in Curly's house. People know that, hey, when I come to Curly's house, somebody there it's going to help me because see that's ministry that's what the Bible is all about when you talk about Matthew 25 God said when you feeding them you feeding me when you clothing them you clothing me that's what the word is all about that's where we stand on right on that book on that scripture right there at Curly's house I love it you, you can feel you know the, the the passion and the urgency I hear the urgency in your voice uh, the website is www. Laverne Spicer for Congress dot com. Uh, Laverne Spicer here on the Jeff Fox Show with me. I want you to look at that camera, Laverne, and, and basically tell people who you are. Be those that don't know. I know those that are in the system that have been around Curly's house. They all know you. But to those unfamiliar voters and why they should vote for you. I am Laverne Spicer, and I have worked diligently, nonstop for over 20 years of my life, over 20 years in the community, very involved. So I know the struggle. I know the struggle that people go through from day-to-day -day operation. I know the struggle that people that have their nonprofit organizations that are struggling, that want to see changes take place, that are trying to help kids, that are trying to help adults. I know about those that are trying to help the veterans. And for those of us that have been doing it over, over 20, 30 years on the shoestring budget, 
I feel your hurt. I feel mm. your passion. I feel your pain. I know what has been taking place. So this is what I would say. If you are tired of going through, you know, sometimes you just got to be sick and tired. You know, when you get really sick and tired of things, then you're going to push and you're going to fight for what you believe in. So for those that are sick and tired of seeing no results, that are sick and tired of seeing um, people that use us, for votes, and we only see them when it's election time. That's the only time that we see them. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you call them, they don't answer the phone, you have problems, you can't get no help. If you're tired of those celebrity career politicians that have been in office forever, especially for District 24, and you want to see a change, I will fight for you. So November the 3rd, vote for me, Laverne Spicer. No doubt about it. And that's a clear message. There are a lot of people out there that around this time feel like, ah, I'm not going to vote. What difference does my one vote make? How important is it that we get the message to every single individual out there that they got to go to the polls? Jeff, I cannot tell you how important it is this year, mm. more so than any other year in history. People need to vote because there are changes that's taking place uh, in this United States of America. You have people that are burning, looting, stealing, killing, and destroying, okay? And what they're trying to do is overthrow this great country. They want to take away your arms. They want to take away your guns. They want to take away your right to protect yourself that is so clearly pointed out in the Constitution of, of America with the Second Amendment rights. They want to overthrow this government. They want to get rid of the police. So more so than ever, it's really important that everybody that can get out, go to vote. Go to vote because this year it may be your life may be the life that you save by voting because we have people that are anti-American that would stop at no means to totally destroy this, this country. Mm. So it's very important. How do, how do you feel about some of the uh, social justice stuff that's going around in, in, in the country right now and how we react to it as black people, you know? And, I mean, everybody else, really, but especially us. How, how do you feel about some of that? I am all for people protesting and for people fighting mm -hmm. for what they believe in. I'm all for that. But I do not support no Antifa, no Marxists, no communist groups that are trained in how to overthrow the government. Mm -hmm. I do not support that. People are so outraged. Now, you have the Black Lives Movement that is supposed to be uh, fighting on behalf of the black people so that they say mm -hmm. but actually it's they're just burning looting and murdering black lives matter blm and so on any given weekend in chicago you have over 60 black people that are murdered and killed including babies mm -hmm. but there's no outrage about that nothing said but then when a black person that has a criminal history that happened to get killed by the police because they did not follow those orders of dropping the weapon, they refused to drop the weapon, then it's an outcry. It's a movement to overthrow the government. It's not even about black lives. If it was, it would be outrage when you see a, a baby on the news that's been murdered and shot in the head. Whereas, you know, nobody has anything to say about that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, we got we to gotta dive deeper. You know, it's time for us as black people to really do some thinking. Sit back. Don't just look at the tell lie vision. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> let's dive a little deeper yes, and, and see what's really taking place behind the scenes. Right. Now, we've got a very passionate Laverne Spicer here once again, November 3rd. We need your souls to the polls. And like I said earlier, man, put some spice in your life. Tell everybody how they can support you and, of course, um, the, the movement and, of course, this campaign. Okay, you can support me uh, by going to my website, which is votelavernspicerforcongress.com. Um, 
I'm there. Just go to my website. All my information is there. Um, if you would like to reach out, and if you're in District 24, please vote for me. And also, you can make a donation to my campaign on the website. And tell us a little more how they can support Curly's House as well. Oh, That's yeah. a good time. Yeah. You know, you got to use the TV. Yes, yes. <laughs> Curly's House, y'all. Curly's House. We are open uh, Monday through Friday, but our food distribution is Tuesday through Friday, um, 11 to 3. If you need food, come by. If you need clothing for your kids, we have brand new clothing there that we would like to get rid of. Uh, that's what it's all about. We are one-stop shop. Mm. Um, you can also go to our website, which is Curly's House Food Bank dot org and make a donation to the program fabulous laverne spicer thank you so much thank for you. stopping by here on the jeff fox show we thank really you. appreciate it thank you jeff for inviting me you're welcome we'll be back with more of the jeff fox show right here on rapid city tv the jeff fox radio show